Let the record reflect that the witnesses. My name is Mary Claire Jelanik, and I am a congressional reporter for the Associated Press. And next week, we are expecting the House January 6th committee to complete the bulk of its work. We're expecting to see a business meeting, as they call it, on Monday, at which they would consider criminal referrals, potentially for former President Donald Trump and some of his associates. Uh, and they will also be voting, most likely, to adopt the final report, which will be hundreds of pages of their findings. While it's going to have other aspects to it, looking at security failures in the Capitol, there were a lot of massive security failures that day, but the committee really has been focused since its beginning on Trump and Trump's role in what happened that day, which was hundreds of his supporters breaking into the building, pushing past police, injuring them, and interrupting the certification of Joe Biden's victory. What they have been examining is what Trump was doing in that time in the weeks leading up to it as he pressured state officials, as he pressured Justice Department officials, as he pressured his own vice president, Mike Pence, to try to find a way to overturn the election. So the committee has been under tremendous time pressure. That they are going to be dissolved um, by the new, with the new Congress, which starts on January 3rd. And because of those time pressures, there's a lot of things they haven't been able to do, um, including talk to Donald Trump himself or talk to Mike Pence, um, Trump's vice president, who was a central figure in this day. And um, although they haven't talked to them, they have talked to more than a thousand people. And many of those people are White House aides, White House associates, and people who were either with them or who were aware of what they were doing that day. The committee is hoping to have a compelling report that will get a lot of public interest. And it'll be different than previous reports because it's likely to include multimedia aspects. They did a lot of video interviews of witnesses, which isn't something that we've seen in a major congressional report before. They also want it to really stand for history. They want to have that information publicly available so no one can hide it, so it is all known, and so people will know what happened on January 6th and what led up to that.